Hi guys, my name is Adam and I'm the community manager for skinwallet.com. This video is not going to be news or, you know, updates about the CSGO major or whatever else because we want to do something for the community. That's one of our goals as a company to bring something to the community, to promote good content creators in the community, both when it comes to YouTube and of course the Steam Workshop. So this video is going to be all about our favorite skins on the Steam Workshop right now that are not accepted into the game yet. We're hoping yet because some of these are absolutely incredible and I think they would be great in the game. So we'll start with um, one of our favorites as a whole, as a team, because we found this when we were researching our April Fool's uh, prank article. So if you want to see that or read that, I should say, check out the link below. It's Superior Weapons, who actually has a skin in the game already in the M4A1S flashback. So that, you know, that Vietnam themed uh, M4. But he made a skin called the Quarantine, which is why we found it in the first place. That was a while ago, four years ago, even five years ago at this point. I'm still forgetting it's 2020. But it looks so good. If you're a fan of minimalistic designs and you feel like the Glock originally is just ugly because it is, let's be honest, the original Glock looks like crap, then the Quarantine is just the perfect alternative for that. It doesn't look like a... It doesn't look like a CSGO skin. It looks like an actual weapon. And that's awesome for people who like that kind of realistic theme on their weapons. And I think it would be great if it came into the game because we need more Glock skins like that. Most of them are like, you know, the top half is painted or something like that. And that's great too. But if you're looking for like a gunsmith kind of realistic, rugged feel to it, I think this is absolutely one of the best skins I've seen on the workshop, period. And I would love for it to go into the game ASAP. Valve, please fix. Our second skin of the day is one that is actually kind of my vibe. I love the Vaporwave vibe. We also recently wrote an article about it. So go check that out. Link in the description as well. We do a lot of content like that. So be sure to check out our blog, you know? Uh, either way, the M4A4 Minesweeper from MCK or Mac K, I think it's Mac K since the C is lowercase, um, is a beautiful, typical vaporwave design with a guy doing a Cyclops impression. I'm just kidding, X Men, don't sue me. Uh, either way, it has that vaporwave grid, it has the purple, blue, and pink color scheme that so many of us love, and it just looks clean. It's a very good alternative to the M4A1S Decimator, which is actually personally one of my favorite skins in the game. Um, for people who want to use the M4A4. And I would hope to see this skin in the game. I'm sure it's going to be modified with time. This is a, basically a brand new skin released two days ago. So it's going to get better as well. And it's just so detailed and, and so nicely done. I think it would be sh a shame if it didn't go into the game. An absolute shame. So that said, let's get in to skin number three. Let's head to SMG land for a second. The P90 de Muertos is probably the most ingenious skin I've seen in a long while. The creator X Risen uses the handles on the P90 to create a skull design around them. And it just works so perfectly. It very much looks like the Calavera that you would find during Dia de Muertos in Mexico, so the Day of the Dead, after which the skin is named. So if you like that vibe, if you want to celebrate your Mexican heritage, or if you're like me and absolutely love Grim Fandango, this skin is absolutely for you. You should vote for it and you should hope it goes in game because it's just so well crafted. The idea is so good. And the wear levels are also very good. Like look at that battle scarred. That battle scarred looks just as good as the factory new because it's just a different kind of vibe. And I love it. Absolutely amazing work by X Risen. And I hope that this one will be in game because I'm definitely get it, getting it once it is. Two P90s back to back? What is this? A Silver One game? Probably, but let's just skip over that. Either way, the P90 Tears from Gazelle is an absolutely stellar design that I couldn't discount just because we have the Dia de Muertos in our video. It is beautiful. It has that noir design that you would get with uh, with skins like the neo-noir, duh. 
but it also has that vaporwave feel with the pearlescence that would work with the vaporwave skins but also the brand new disco skin for the mac 10 so if you're looking for skins like that i think this is a perfect example of a very creative idea that is well done so yeah two p90s but two absolutely beautiful p90s that take two different approaches to the weapon and still come out strong that said let's get into our final weapon and for our final skin we go from glock to glock so back where we started the glock lost world from three stia i think that's how you pronounce it or three sia i don't know either way from this user is an amazing work of art that evokes hp lovecraft cthulhu like horror perfectly it is so well designed it has that kind of colorful feel that a lot of the other skins do so it would go perfectly with for example a point disarray even uh, or something like that because that's the color scheme that 3 d went for but on top of that the artwork is just so good it, it gives you that kind of feel of cthulhu or another elder god coming at you and i think a lot of people like that having been released in march this is also a pretty new one and i think you should absolutely upvote it because it's gorgeous if you don't like the realism of the quarantine you'll love the paintwork on this one it is such a good skin and i hope it comes to the game sooner than later because it's perfect for like you know orange and blue orange and green sets it's perfect for sci-fi sets there are just so many sets you can put it put this into and it will work very very well so congratulations to Threestia for creating a very very nice skin uh, there's a whole co collection of lost world items as well so you can check those out um all of them are pistols by the way so uh, you might have a pistol lost world co collection if we're lucky either way Either way, I've added all of these into a collection that we'll be adding to as we create more and more of these episodes. However, I do have a little bit of, a, I guess, a request for all of you. If you are a person who is creating skins and want your skin to be featured and you might not be able to find it on the workshop, just let us know. DM us on Twitter or send us a message on YouTube. And who knows, you, you might be featured in the next video like this we do because we really want creators whether it's YouTube or the workshop to have a platform to promote. And we hope we can bring you that. So if you like uh, what you're seeing and if you want to be a part of the next video, please let us know and we'll add you to the video and to the collection. If we think you have a great skin either way, thank you very much for watching for daily dank memes and sometimes skins. Please follow our socials. Uh, links are in the description. And if you want to sell your skins in, in CSGO, if you're just bored of waiting for these amazing skins to come in and you want to buy something cool in the real world for your skins, you can head to skillnewalla.com right now to cash out your skins nearly instantly. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Cheers.